Hello and welcome fellow feathered friends. Today's video is something different. Today I will present to you why Unity sucks for beginners. Unity is a famous engine and often gets recommended for the wrong reasons, in my opinion. And ever since the well-known scientist Rick Sanchez even has his very own opinion about it. Grandpa Rick, what happened with Unity? Who? Oh, Unity. Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, we're talking about an entity that thrives on enslavement, you know? It's not cool. Fun's fun, but who needs it? I'll be in the garage. I thought, as Proga Parrot on Unity, I want to help you guys to choose the right game engine for your rookie days. So, how dare I to say Unity sucks? Don't forget, for beginners. At first, Unity is a black box. Beginners get that feeling of a big, magical program filled with scripts and resources to create games. You can't see or even understand the source code since it's built in close development. Also, if Unity made major changes you don't like, you then would have to cope with it, since you use Unity tools for building your project. So if the tools change, or the rules for them, or whatever, your structure could get screwed over and so you have to kind of build your project around the tools. Unity can be a mess. Keyword structure. Unity doesn't really have one clear one. That's why you can build wall games with only one game object or with many game objects with hundreds and hundreds of components or you use multiple scenes and spawn everything on runtime. This can be useful for professional users, but can also appear overwhelming for a beginner and you mostly end up confused with a random crappy structure. For most beginners, Unity is overloaded. You need to learn so many things to only understand some bugs, like which render pipe do I use for which shaders, why is the collision system acting weird again, and how to rotate sprites with quaternions in the fake 2D space. C Sharp is huge and can nearly do everything, which can also be a big fat disadvantage. As a beginner you want to get started as fast as possible, but learning such a big language with all its classes, structures, namespaces, solutions and so on is far away from the track. So same problem again regarding the structure. You get a big junk of overload which you can barely understand or even use as beginner. Actually, you could use pointer arithmetic in Unity to build C++ style data containers, but ain't nobody got time for that. Unity is unpleasant. When it comes to setting up a lightweight workspace in time, Unity just isn't good for that. In general, you have to download Unity Hub and create an Unity account first. To log in to get a license and then you have to choose one of the many Unity versions to install. It can appear that you need to update the engine several times a week, which can cause a lot of random bugs. And then there are engines like Odo out there, like you saw or can see in the other videos if you take a look at the channel. You can simply download the .exe on the homepage and get a stable, bug-tested engine to work with. So my next point here, Unity has a terrible user interface. Because of the huge feature overload in Unity, you also need a lot of complex UI stuff, which then comes in the ugliest theme I've ever seen. The dark theme, for example, is only available in the paid version of Unity. At this point I might be picky, but I prefer a dark theme since it's not flashing with bright colors, which can be especially stressful when you are still on that one passion project at 3am. Let me know in the comments if I'm the only one with such problems or if you can relate. Anyways, as a beginner you already have a lot to learn besides the complex UI, like in how sprites are working or what exactly are materials and shaders. Unity is a commercial product. Last but not least, since Unity is a market-oriented product, they aren't interested to publish their source code, so you only get the interface to work with. 
and so you can grow with the engine. By that I mean you can't cut out features you don't need. You must deal with whatever the Unity devs throw into the engine. So sooner or later you will find yourself in a situation where Unity makes major changes like nested prefabs or the entity component system. And then you will have to learn and master the new things if you want to use Unity properly. All in all, Unity isn't a bad engine per se. Unity is made in commercial development and built by professionals for professionals. So if you really are a bloody beginner in game development and you don't really know how engines are built, then Unity will quickly become a huge black box and an overloaded messy tool. Unity is a good engine, but a really bad decision if your only argument is everyone else uses Unity too. Each tool has its specific purpose. So while well, Unity can export great looking 3D games even to Switch, Xbox or PlayStation, you can for example rapidly prototype games in a more comfy way with Godot for example. In the end, every tool you use affects and changes the result, or more like your creation. So that's it for today's video. I hope I could help you a little. And if you are interested in more information about the game industry or maybe alternate to Unity, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And as always, leave your questions, suggestions and comments below. And I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!